Hi there, Heather again. And hello again from me, Jenny. I'm a sales trainer for Google Cloud. Users expect apps to be available 24 seven. And developers also expect to be able to deploy new versions of their app multiple times a day. On today's episode, we'll introduce Google Kubernetes Engine. We'll also run through a quick demo of the self-paced lab where we'll deploy a containerized application with Kubernetes Engine. Let's get started. <laughs> As a starting point, let's take a moment to discuss containers as well as Kubernetes. Absolutely. So containers address the problem of how to easily and consistently deploy apps in different environments. They essentially allow apps to be broken down into smaller, independent pieces that can be deployed or managed dynamically. Containerization also allows the separation of apps from infrastructure, which is going to allow developers to focus on their apps, while IT operations teams can focus on deployment and management. And because containers are so lightweight, individual services can quickly be called when they're needed and are available almost immediately. Which brings us to Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a production-ready, open-source platform and provides a container-centric management environment. So instead of having all of your applications separate from your libraries and your kernel, each application has its own library associated with it, resting above a kernel. Kubernetes allows you to interact with your container cluster to deploy and manage your apps, perform administration tasks and set policies, and monitor the health of your deployed workloads. Google Kubernetes Engine is the premier managed Kubernetes solution. Leveraging Google's infrastructure, Kubernetes Engine provides the perfect managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling your containerized apps. Simply describe the compute, memory, and storage resources your application containers require, and Kubernetes Engine will provision and manage the underlying cloud resources automatically. Google also wants to ensure that your users have a seamless experience. So Google Site Reliability Engineers, or SREs, constantly monitor your cluster and its resources to ensure that your services are highly available. Kubernetes Engine auto-scaling will also allow you to handle any increased demand while scaling back during those quieter periods. From Gmail to YouTube to Search, everything at Google runs on containers. Google Kubernetes Engine allows you to benefit from all that we have learned the last decade on building container management systems. Time again for Quick Labs. This hands-on lab, which will take about 30 minutes to complete, shows you how to deploy a containerized application with Kubernetes Engine. You can check out the link to start the Quick Lab here. At this point in the lab, you've created a Kubernetes Engine cluster and authenticated for the cluster. To deploy a containerized application, you'll create a new deployment from the Hello App container image. You'll then create a Kubernetes service, which is a resource that lets you expose your application to external traffic. Once deployed, you can inspect the deployed service. You can then view the deployed application from your web browser using the external IP address with the exposed port. Well, there we have it. We hope you enjoyed this episode and would love to hear more about how you would use Google Kubernetes Engine. Don't forget to keep visiting our on-air webinar series, Quick Labs, and our blogs. All the links are below. You can also learn more about Kubernetes Engine through our on-demand courses on Coursera. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Last week, we reviewed Google App Engine so that you can focus on launching your app and not the development platform. <laughs>